Let's take a look how to make this new Chrome text effect here in Illustrator and Adobe Dimension. We're going to start in Illustrator, select your text. From here, let's go to 3D materials, click on inflate, and decrease the depth to zero and click on inflate both sides. And from here, all you need to do is go to the asset export. If you don't have it, you can go to windows and select the asset export. Drag and drop the design into the asset export and make sure to change the format to GLTF. Click on export and save it. Now we can go to Adobe Dimension. Let's go to the asset where you saved it and just drag and drop into Adobe Dimension. Now I'm gonna bring the design up and I gotta go and rotate it 90 degree angles. And as you can see, we're upside down. So we're gonna push it actually downwards. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna push it under. And I'm gonna press the number one and rotate it. As you can see, we're at the bottom. And now if you rotate it, it looks normal but I'm gonna select the selection tool and stick it to the floor like this. Press the number one, rotate. Let's arrange this composition to look the best. So we're gonna go to the camera and we're gonna type into the rotation 90 degree angles. To the Y, we're gonna type in zero and bring it to the center. Select the backgrounds, click on the background color. I'm gonna make it black. Now we're gonna collapse the models and here we got the metal. Drag and drop into the assets right here. Collapse the materials, substance materials, scroll down, and here we got the studio backlight like this version. Click on it, and let's go to the ray tracing, activate, and it's gonna render it to look realistic. From here, let's go to the environment light properties and increase the intensity. I gotta go with 150-ish to make it nice and bright. If you wanna know how to render and export this in high resolution, I'm gonna leave a link in the description with that tutorial as well. And this was it, thanks for watching.